Okay, well, today for another quick load of wood, uh, I'm gonna split what we have cut already and see uh, how much more firewood we need to cut. We shouldn't need too much more. Just a quick trip today. Kelsey's cleaning out the back of the truck so we can fit a little more. Not to cheat our customers. Yeah. Uh, there's one comment on yesterday's video. It was actually Wooly's World. He was asking if the burnt bark and stuff dulls uh, saw chain. It does dull it a little bit quicker. Um, it's not too bad. I noticed when I was cutting this summer, if I was in green timber, I could go about two days on a uh, sharp chain without having to file or switch chains or anything. Um, that's if I didn't hit any dirt or rock or anything. And when I was in burnt timber, I could go about a day and then I'd have to sharpen my saw. So it does dull it a little bit quicker, but it's not bad. It was a little tough getting in here today. We almost had to chain up. The truck wouldn't stay in the tire tracks. Well, we're gonna have to cut a few more blocks. I think about three should finish filling the truck. So we'll get gassed up and I'll walk up the hill and cut a few more blocks. Came close, what do we have? three five blocks Ten, here so we would have had a couple more that i think two more big ones would have yeah filled the truck we'll see if you can do your landing skills like you did yesterday it's a little bit more flattened out down here yeah. <laughs> probably hit the truck this time maybe feeling <laughs> uh, a couple people asked where i got the gas jug it's a briggs and stratton gas jug I actually bought this from the guy who used to have the old steel shop where we used to go, but now they had closed that shop a few years back and he was actually working at another store and I ran into him. I said, Hey, you don't happen to have any more of them gas jugs, do you? And uh, he said he had one left and I gave him $40 for it. <laughs> uh, they're great jugs. They're pretty much bomb proof. I used to use uh, 
windshield washer fluid jugs and they get holes in them real easy and then you get gas and oil all over your vehicle but anyway we're gonna get the saw fired up i'll walk up and cut some more blocks and roll down <laughs> If anyone knows of a good tripod, let me know. I bought this one from Walmart and it's a piece of crap. One of the legs already busted on it. Or the latch, the clamp. So, heads up, honey. I'm going to throw this down the hill. Okay. Maybe this tripod, too. So one of the log cutters I cut logs with, he uh, told me a little, it's kind of a horror story about a, a cutter over here on the west coast of Washington. Young kid, uh, good timber faller, was walking out of the woods one day back to his vehicle to go home and he was packing his chainsaw and he had his power head pointed down like this and he tripped and the dog 
hit him right in the spine and killed him. So when he tripped, he went like that. And the power head stuck on his back. And when he fell, that dog hit him right in the spine. Um, so that log cutter told me to pack it with the power head pointed up. Okay, make sure walk. that way when you do trip and you let go of your saw, boom, it falls behind you. With the power head down, it gets stuck on your back and cannot fall. So that's just one little tip. I always try to throw the power head up. Every once in a while, I forget and have the power head down. But any of you pack your saw like this, put the power head up. That way, if you do trip, you let go of the bar and it'll fall behind you. Well, we're loaded again. Um, that little tip I just added in about packing your chainsaw, I hope that helps someone. Uh, I'd sure hate to see someone trip and have a saw dog go in their spine or anything like that. Uh, it's just stuff that's been passed on to me by fellow log cutters. And, you know, I try and pass stuff along too. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys. And I'd like to say thank you to Creekside Maples for the awesome live feed last night. Yes, that was awesome, Creekside. Uh, thanks for the shout out. If you guys don't watch... Uh, Creekside Maples, uh, go check them out. They got a good channel, good people, fun. Live feed was fun, interesting. They're uh, trying to hit 2,000, so. Yeah, go give them a sub if you're not there. Thank you, guys.